Hey everybody, welcome back to 1776 or Bust. Just a real quick video for one of my subscribers, Paul Salver. He wanted me to show how to do a site change or if I hadn't done one, if, he, if I could do a video on it. Unfortunately, Paul, I have already changed these sites. One of the things that I do normally when I buy a gun is if I'm not happy with the sites that I came with, I automatically go out, purchase a set, and put them right on. You know, one of the big advantages of having you know, a good set of sights is good acquisition of the target, uh, depending on what you like, if you like fiber optics or, you know, tritium, you know, whatever is good for you. For me, one of the things I prefer is having both uh, tritium and fiber optics, so that's why I normally go with TFXs or TFX Pros. Uh, in this case, I found the TFXs uh, for a good price, so I wound up getting one of these instead for this SIG. The other SIG that I have, you can see that this one came with the, and the lighting is pretty bad here, sorry guys. Um, but um, you can see these were the SIG night sights that came with the gun. So I didn't switch these out because I really do like the notch in the front. I, I think it's very good acquisition of target. And uh, the tritium is really nice inside, very bright at night, and I like that. So these aren't going to be changed out. But um, this one here that I did buy also, I did actually wind up changing this one out. Um, these are TFXs, as I said before. So you get your fiber optics, plus you get your tritium vials inside, and they are sealed, so you don't have to worry about getting solvent on them uh, necessarily, which was one of the problems with their original TFOs. This one, in regards to how I got it done, again, if you're not familiar with removing sights, I do all my sight changes. I don't take it to a gunsmith or anything like that. Um, I, you know, I basically use um, brass punches, and um, you know, I've been very successful. You know, here's a typical brass punch that I would use to, uh, you know, take a sight out and put one in. I don't have a, a brass and nylon hammer. Instead, I got one of these bad boys uh, at Lowe's for a pretty good price, and it's got the nylon. And this is the one I usually, you know, hammer in. Uh, when I need to. Um, but to get these in, this was actually fairly easy. Uh, the removal of the rear sights was, um, I don't want to say overly challenging. Uh, I did actually have to use a little brake free on there um, to try to let it sit overnight to make it a little bit smoother for me. I don't use that normally for my guns, but uh, in this case I wanted to make sure that it was a very smooth transition of removing the old ones and putting the new ones in. So once it sat overnight, it came in, and I, I have a, a, basically the table that I'm using here, I have a vise on the other side of the camera where this is actually hanging off of. So it's just a basic table vise, nothing fancy, nothing expensive, um, and it does its job. I usually will wrap the gun, the slide itself, in something, whether it, it's uh, you know just a towel with maybe some pieces of bamboo around it, just to hold it so it doesn't mar up the slide or anything like that while it's in the vise and I just go to town on it. What I do is I basically use the brass punch to hammer it out. Um, again, if you're not familiar, you want to hammer out from the left of the gun to the right, so where the ejection port is, and then uh, once you put them back in, you do the opposite. You go from right to left. Um, at least that's the, the general consensus, and that's how I put these in. Same thing with the front. You know, you, they're dovetailed in, so you just push to the left, or from left to right, and then putting them in from right to left. Both front and rear went in really nicely, no issues at all. Um, you know, the brass, I still have actually brass markings on here because I've been too lazy to, to clean it up. But, uh, you know, I really could care less if, if it's there or not, to be honest with you. So uh, it doesn't, you know, do anything to the function of the gun. But overall, these sites have been great. Um, again, the, the, the TFXs and TFX Pros are really good sites. Um, I know there's been some talk as to whether or not you can manipulate this slide um, because this shelf is a little bit lower. As a matter of fact, let me grab one that has a TFX Pro on it. And let's see. I'll grab this one here. This is my other PPQ. Um, this is a TFX Pro. So you have the orange dot in the front. And you have more of a shelf here. So it is... A little bit easier to manipulate that slide if you need to. If you need to. Um, however, I would say that this isn't any uh, less uh, of, a, of a shelf. I was able to manipulate this um, with my belt the other day just to see if I could do it because I know Big Johnson made a comment that he likes the TFX Pros Oops, because of that factor. So I had to see if I could actually manipulate it without uh, having that larger shelf on the rear sight and I was able to do so. So I was very happy that that worked out. Um, overall, uh, again, the sight picture is very good. Um, I would say one of the things I do like about the SIG 320 is that once you go from draw to you know focusing on that front dot, um, it's very, very smooth, straightforward. It's a very easy um, focus on the front. So I do absolutely love this SIG. Um, it feels really good in the hand. And again, just a very natural sight picture when you come up with it. So I think that's a big bonus. Again, if you are interested in the sights, these are TFXs. 
Um, again, you can get the TFX Pros, but I do like them because of the fiber optics and the tritium. So hopefully that helps, Paul. Hopefully, uh, you, you know, if you're looking at changing out the sights, again, it's very easy to do. Just get yourself a good vise, some brass punches, a nylon hammer, and um, just hammer out the old ones that, uh, by the way, look very similar to these, only without the tritium. Um, you just, it's got a nice shelf here to hammer out, so there shouldn't be any issues. Uh, the dovetail on the front's a little bit thinner, so that could be an issue, but just use the smallest brass punch you can find, and it should pop right out uh, with no difficulty at all. Uh, other than that, again, great pistols. So if you're in the market for a good pistol, go for the 320. Get yourself a brand new set of um, TFX or TFX Pros, and you'll be packing a really nice gun. Other than that, you guys have a great night, and as always, freedom is never free.